Hello and welcome back to Leftbox360. My name is Jared and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Xbox 360 homebrew yourself. So first you want to start by downloading all the programs. You want to make sure you download Visual Studio version 2010. This one right here. Save it to your computer. Next you want to download the Xbox 360 development kit with Unity. Save that and close. Now extract the files to the desktop. This can take a few minutes. All right, now that Visual Studio has finished downloading, we're going to move that into the same folder just for ease of tutorial. All right, and then we mount Visual Studio ISO and we run the autorun.exe. I already have it installed, but you just click this button. Um, it wouldn't say remove, it would say install. And then you're gonna run the Xbox 360 um, SDK. You need to make sure that when you do this, you install the full version. Um, if you don't install Visual Studio correctly, then the full version will not be uh, highlighted automatically. So you just follow all the prompts as they're shown to you. So next we're going to open Xbox Neighborhood and uh, you're going to add your Xbox and next we install Unity. So you just follow the steps, simple as that. Next, you're gonna patch your Unity, make sure you run it as administrator. You're gonna find the install location. Uh, I always get very confused as to where my things install, but make sure you select the folder where the exe is. Yep. yep. And then you wanna set the license options and create a license and patch the game or the editor and then uh, yeah you just install this and it will let you build unity games for xbox and then i'm going to quickly show you how to do that so you create a new project and i'm just going to name mine xbox 360 uh, test. <laughs> Create project. Look at that. Also, there's totally, you should just use this version of Unity because it's like instant boot. Uh, new Unity is uh, trash. The term intrification comes to mind. So, first you're going to save the scene or else you'll have nothing to build. So, save it as test. And then I'm going to build settings and then go to Xbox 360, switch platform, and then change this. Make sure it's master and then build it. I'm just going to create a folder here called builds. And then inside that folder, select it. This process takes quite a while. quite a while uh, yeah there we go all right and next you're gonna open Xbox neighborhood again so this is what the folder looks like after you build it all right now we open Xbox neighborhood and we go to our console we go to our hard drive dev kit and that, yeah, takes a while. All right. So you can see my game that I already built, and I'm just going to drag this in there uh, to that folder. So Quad Carnage is a game that I built recently um, that you can download from itch.io, and it works perfectly on your Xbox. So now that the game is on your Xbox, you're going to 
right click the XEX file. Sorry, just let me uh, get my Xbox recording. And then you're going to launch the game. And this is what it looks like on your Xbox when you launch it. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. We didn't really do anything, but just to prove that it's on my Xbox, here we go. It's beautiful. Oh, and uh, here's some clips uh, of the game that I made. You can stop watching now if you want. Peace.